What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online money glitch video and this one is solo. All right, and I've got a few updates on the solo money glitches that are working and not working right now. So this is what's going on. The Deluxo dupe, as far as I know, has been patched. There is a four second uh, death barrier and now those little workarounds that we had, you know, launching up the uh, sightseer and stuff, that ain't working anymore. So as far as I know, that is patched and all the solo dupes that have been working in the nightclub you know the other solo money glitch that obese found yeah that one is still working but not with the job methods all those different job methods have been patched so you cannot do those job methods if you have restarted your game but there is a method working my boy unepical actually found this a few days ago but uh yeah shout out to all the founders though obese and everybody that contributed to this glitch and their names will be down in the description now this glitch works on Xbox One and PS4, and this is what you're going to need. So I recommend throwing yourself in an invite-only session, and you want a nightclub with at least level B2 and B3. That's actually pretty important, all right? So you need at least two garages like that, two of those 10-car nightclub garages. You need an LG Retro Custom or any Benny's vehicle that you want to dupe with no custom plates, none needed whatsoever. We're going to get fresh plates every time. You're going to need a bunch of RH8s in your nightclub garage and to save the vehicles, the MOC with the personal vehicle storage or empty spaces in the CEO garage with a mod shop. All right. So those are your two options there. Now, something very important. We do encounter one of those infinite loading screens here. So Xbox One, I recommend definitely for you guys being a free aim session because you're going to need to join a friend in a different targeting mode. If you don't have a friend right now, you can link up in the comments. Very easy. You guys just have to literally add each other and be in different targeting modes and then you can just join off each other whenever you want. Or just go into a bunch of assisted aim public sessions, find a bunch, just add everybody in the lobby, and I promise you people will start adding you back. And then you can go ahead and go into a free aim invite only and do the glitch, and you can join off of them. All right, so that is it for the intro. Let's go ahead and get into this glitch already. So here we are outside of the nightclub. And like I said, if you're on Xbox for sure, go to your settings, go to creator or story mode, and you want to change your targeting mode. You see mine's on free aim right there. All right. So I'm going to go into my nightclub garage now and like in the rest of my videos, pretty much we're going to be using B3. All right. So here we go. B3. And I've gone into the garage and what you see right here, this is the setup just like before LG retro custom in slot one, RH8 in slot two, and you're good to go like that. So now I'm going to explain a little bit on what we're doing here. So I'm in B3. Since I'm in B3 doing this glitch, that means I need B4 because when we go over to the garage door, we're going to be hovering over the next garage that we're actually in. So if I'm in B3, I'm going to be hovering over B4. All right. If you're in B2, you're going to be hovering over B3. It's always the next garage. All right. I hope that's not confusing. So you see, this is what I mean right here. I'm going up to my garage door. Since I'm in B3, I'm going to hover over B4. All right. Right there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and select B4 and immediately hit up X or up A on Xbox. All right. And do it fast. I'm saying fast. So here we go. We're going to hear it now. You see that you got to do it really quick. All right. Just do it fast. And that is it. You end up on an infinite loading screen here. PS4, you can go ahead and actually find a recent activity like I'm doing right now. Uh, that leads you to GTA Online. Xbox, you're going to need the friend in a different targeting mode for this part. And it's just to get off the black screen. You don't have to be in communication with this person. You literally just have to join off of them just to get certain alerts. So Xbox, accept the first alert, decline the second alert. PS4, just decline the alert. You should spawn with no minimap and that's it. We're glitched and we're good to go and we can go ahead and proceed. So I'm going to head over to my blue circle, hit right D-pad, and I'm going to pick up the LG Retro on slot one and put it in slot two. And as you can see, the cars are frozen, but slot one says LG RH8 and slot two actually says Retro. All right. So we're going to go to slot one because this is the car that we're going to be duping. All we got to do is drive it out. Remember, I said no custom plates. Remember right there, KXU. Once I drive this out, the plate should change for you. There we go. TJY. All right. That is our brand new on our brand new duplicate right here so all we got to do is go ahead and save it now the first save method that i will be showing that i haven't actually showed in a little while is the ceo garage method so remember if you're using the ceo garage you need empty spaces you do not want to be transferring vehicles because that does ruin the glitch all right so make sure you have empty spaces and you need a mod shop if you don't have a mod shop don't even try it because the car is all brick uh, if you don't do it quick enough 
So as you can see right here, I will be entering my CEO garage over here at Arcadius. And not bad driving for first person, not bad. All right, I'm gonna go over to Office Garage 3 because I know I got one empty space I made just for this video. And you see that if you don't get an alert, you're good, all right? You're gonna slide right into that empty spot, which is what you want, all right? Uh, this took a little bit longer than normal for some reason, a little bit glitchier than I remember. Uh, but you know, we were using new methods and stuff like that and they're putting in new patches, so weird things happen with the game. But anyways, once we load in here, you want to quickly get back into the car because you see it kicks you out and start pressing right D-pad because you want to go into that mod shop. So once he starts the car, you can press right D-pad and you'll go in there. So now we have entered. You want to just modify anything on the vehicle, really anything that's cheap. So I always recommend going to plates, license plate colors and just change the color. Simple as that. Go ahead and go back to that office garage that you were just in just to park it back in the spot real quick. You really don't need to do it, but uh, I'll do it just for the video purposes. And then you can drive out and you can make your way to the nightclub to rinse and repeat. But that's pretty much how you would save it in the CEO garage and how you would do that glitch. Now, I kept some more footage in here uh, hitting the glitch a few t more times. And the reason is because I actually came across some pretty interesting stuff and uh, a few really cool fails, actually. So and I'm going to show you some things that can actually happen to you. And because, you know, everybody needs troubleshooting. I know there's going to be a bunch of people asking in the comments. Uh, I can't hear the ticks or this or that. Like you got to be fast. All right. And you're going to see what happens when you're actually not fast or you just, you know, you just screw up kind of on the actual, you know, on the actual part where you're pressing up and X or up and A. All right. So here we go. I'm going to just return that vehicle to storage. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go into my nightclub and go back into B3. All right, we're going to go into the same garage to dupe. So at first, I thought you couldn't do this multiple times in this session, but that seems to not be the case. But I'm going to show you what I encountered. All right, so I'm going to leave my garage as is. Since I'm in B3, I'm going to go ahead and hover over B4, just like before, and I'm going to select it. Boom, you heard that? All right, so I screwed up there. All right, I screwed up definitely. As you can see, I actually just ended up in B4, all right? I didn't do it right whatsoever, all right? So I just ended up in B4. So at this moment, I just want to go back to B3 just so I can try and restart and do the glitch again, okay? And you're going to see actually what happens here, all right? So here we go. I'm going up to the garage. I'm going to hover over B4, and I'm going to try it out again. So you heard that? I just selected B4 again. That's all I did. I didn't actually press up on the D-pad. And look what happens to you uh, right here at this point. There we go. So I basically just got into the default nightclub. That's what happens when everything disappears. I probably had guns in there. I just didn't even check. But uh, yeah, I got kicked out probably because I was signed in as an MC. And once this loading screen happens, you see that? I just spawn over, I guess, where the default nightclub is located. And uh, yeah, so that's a couple fails that can happen. So I made my way back over to the nightclub in the same session. I just want to let you guys know because this I didn't think at first that this was possible to do multiple times in one session. But, uh, you know, because I failed just tremendously right there at those few attempts. But like I said, I went back and I'm going to actually attempt to do it once again, at least one more time in here. Uh, it took a while for the cars to load in there, but anyways, I'm going to go up to the garage door. I'm going to hover over B4 since I'm in B3, and I'm going to just hit up and X right away. There you go. You heard that? That was perfect. You should end up on this infinite loading screen. If you're hitting infinite loading screens, then you should be fine. All right, that's how this method works. So remember, PS4, recent activity, decline the alert. Xbox, join a friend in a different target mode, accept the first alert and decline the second. You should be kicked off the black screen and in your original garage with no mini map in the bottom left. All right. So if you don't have the blue circle also, just grab one of the cars and drive it out and come back in. All right. That seems to help. So if you do have the blue circle, though, just grab your LG Retro Custom, put it in or put it right over a slot with an RH8. In my case, it was right next to it. All I got to do now is grab the Retro and check out the plate right before I drive it out. All right, KXU. And this is for your convenience, you know, and peace of mind that you know you drove out the right car. So you can see the plate changed. I very well know this is a brand new dupe. And I'm going to do the second save method, which is calling up my mobile operations center and just drive it in there. Remember, you need the personal vehicle storage. For those of you that are going to complain and say that the car is not driving in there, don't worry. All right, you're good. You just it does cost a million dollars or actually, no, it's only like two hundred and forty thousand dollars to purchase the personal vehicle storage. But to revert back to the other one, yeah, it's like a million. But yeah, if you got the personal vehicle storage, you should be good. Just go ahead and press right D-pad. Accept the alert if you got a car in there already. It will just transfer normally. 
And once we spawned into the MOC, the car is officially saved. All right. So just like that, we have saved ourselves two dupes in the same session. So this is working right now on Xbox One and PS4. 100% uh, solo for PS4 players. But Xbox, you know, like I said, guys, come on. It's really not that hard to just add a bunch of random people till they add you back. All right. Just think of it as a setup, you know, for a so just a normal setup thing for a solo glitch. All right. Just normal setup. All right, but that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Make sure if you want to make some friends, link down in the comments as well. That's always a great place to find people. Uh, shout out to the founders once again. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.